Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can flash a custom recovery and then root your Redmi 2 by using a PC. So guys, let's get started. So guys, just before we get started, there are many people on YouTube and other websites showing you how to install the clockwork mod for the Redmi 2. But I would strongly suggest you not to install the clockwork mod and go with the TWRP recovery. So this is the link which others use to install the clockwork mod. There is nothing wrong with the clockwork mod, but the clockwork mod is specifically made for the Chinese version of Redmi 2. So if you are from any other part of the world, then you should not install the clockwork mod. Just in case if you have already installed this, then it's not much big of a deal. You can change it to TWRP recovery at any time. So that's it. Let's get started guys. So guys, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install the TWRP recovery after that, how to root the device. Firstly, we need to identify your device ID. Currently, there are different versions of Redmi 2 being sold throughout the world, but they all can be narrowed down to two different versions. One is a version that ends with the model ID 813 and the other one ends with the model ID 811. Just in case if you are from India, then the Indian version of Redmi 2 will end with 818. So the number is different both the 811 and 818 are the same so guys as i've said we are going to flash the custom recovery so we need to download the recovery files so you need to come to this particular page i leave a link to this page in the description area so just scroll down so in this section we have two download links so one is for the redmi 2 with model id that ends with 811 and the other one with the model id that ends with 813 so if you are from India, then you need to download this particular version. Just check your model ID before you proceed. So just download one of these recoveries. I am going to download this particular recovery because I am using the Indian version of Redmi 2. Just click on this link and it will redirect you to Google Drive. And then you need to click this blue button to download the file. So I have already downloaded that. Apart from that, you need to go to another particular page. Just scroll down and you'll find a link over here this is the one by default the TWRP will be in another language I don't know which language it is but to convert it to English you need to go to this particular URL just copy this code and open it in the browser So we will come to this particular page, just scroll all the way to the top of the page and just scroll down a little and you have this section called 720p resolution only, then just click on the link over here and now scroll down and choose the recovery that you like. To keep it simple, I am going to choose this particular recovery, just scroll down and you have two links over here one is the file for manual installation and the other one is for flashable zip just select the first link and click this blue button that says download now So this is the hollow, this is the hollow dark zip file. So once you have these two files, let's go to another file. So it is the update super su version 2.40 zip. I'll leave this link in the description area. So just open it up and click this download button to download the file. So after that, you need to come to this particular website. I'll leave this link in the description area. And from here, you need to download the me flash tool. So here is the link. Just in case if you are not able to see this link, then you have to log into this website and leave a comment. So just click on it to download the Mi Flash tool. There you have it. So I have already downloaded all the four files. So these are the files. Just make sure that you rename this hollow.zip file to ui.zip. 
So that's it. And now you need to install this particular application. Just click on it and click the next button. I have already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. But make sure that you copy this particular path before you click the next button. So once you click the next button, it will simply install the drivers. And just in case if you are getting any alert messages asking for a confirmation, simply press yes. So once you install this particular application, this is what you'll end up with. So you have to simply press finish to end the installation. So once it is all done, you need to go to my computer or this PC in case of Windows 8 or 8.1, then go to C drive, then go to program files, then go to Xiaomi, MI phone, Google, Android, And over here, you need to copy the recovery file. Just copy it and paste it over here. So now you have everything set up. Now let me just show you what you need to do on the device. So guys, now the device is turned on as you can just see. Now just connect your phone to the PC using a data cable. So guys, now the phone is detected in my PC and we need to transfer some files to the phone. So this is the phone which is detected as a media player. Just open it up and this is the internal storage. Just open it up too. And now over here you need to copy these two files into the internal storage. So these are the two files that I have just said about. And now you can close this window and disconnect your phone. So guys, now you need to put your device in fast boot mode. So for that, let's just power off the device now. So now the device is powered off. To enter fast boot mode, all you need to do is simply press the volume down button and the power button both at the same time. Start with the volume down button. Press and hold them until you see this logo. So once your device is in fast boot mode, connect it to your system. Now let's now let's put the device aside. Now come back to the system guys. So in this particular location that is me phone Google Android, press the shift key and right click. Now over here you will see an option that says open command window here. Just in case if you have pressed, just in case if you have done a right click, you won't see the open command window here. You need to press shift and then do a right click. So once you have this, just open up the first web page that I've shown you. This is the TWRP web page. And now from here we need to copy some commands. So guys, I forgot to mention you, you need to enable the developer options before putting your device in fast boot mode. Just enable the developer options by going into settings above and press the MIUI version 7 times and the developer options will be enabled. After it is enabled, go to settings, then additional settings, then you have the developer options and once you enter into developer options, enable USB debugging. You need to do these two steps before you put your device in fast boot mode. So once it is done, you need to scroll down over here and simply copy this particular line. Now let's go to the command prompt. Firstly, we need to check if the device is detected in the PC. For that, enter fastboot space devices and enter. If your phone is in fastboot mode and is connected to the PC and detected by the PC, then you will get this line over here. The code may be different, but you'll get some code and fast boot. So it means that the phone is detected by the PC. Now we need to paste this particular code. Just copy it and right click and paste. Once again, guys, this is the folder in the C drive and we need to copy our image file into this folder. So just check the last two digits of this recovery file and make sure that you change the text over here. 
So as this is the recovery for the model number A11, I am simply replacing the X with 1. If you are having the Chinese version of Redmi, then you need to replace the X with 3. So now all you need to do is simply press enter and it will flash the custom recovery. And now to reboot the device, you need to enter the command fastboot reboot and enter. And now your device will reboot. So guys, by the time the device reboots, let me just tell you what you need to do. Firstly, download all the four files the recovery file, the driver's setup, the UI zip and the super user file and just install this particular installation file after it is done go to this particular location that is C drive, program files, Xiaomi, Mi phone, Google, Android so in here you need to copy this particular recovery and then open the command prompt by pressing shift and right click so once it is open you need to enter three commands and once this is open, on your phone enable developer options, enable USB debugging and turn off your phone, press volume down and power button to enter fast boot mode and then connect it to your PC and on the command prompt you need to enter three commands. The first one is fast boot devices. You are supposed to get this particular line as output. After that you need to enter this particular command which can be found in the first URL. So this is the command and in this command you need to replace this particular X with your model number or the recovery that you have downloaded. So there are only two recoveries, one that ends with 1 and the other ends with 3. Just in case if you are from India then you need to replace this X with 1. So just replace that particular character and then press enter. It will simply flash the recovery to the phone. Then you need to reboot the device by pressing this command that is by entering this command that is fast boot reboot so guys now the device is turned on so guys now the device is turned on let me just open up the explorer app and from here let's select phone you should be in the internal storage and now scroll all the way to the bottom and you have the ui.zip file that we have copied just press copy now you need to find a folder called as twrp just open it up and there should be a folder called theme and just in case if it is not there you can create one on your own simply press more and say create new folder and give it a name theme t h e m e make sure that the t is in small case And now there we have the folder, just open it up and paste the ui.zip file. Now guys we need to enter into the recovery mode. So for that there are two ways, one is by using the updater app and another one by turning off the device and then using a key combination to open the recovery. So for the first time make sure that you don't use the updater app, so simply power off the device. And once the device is powered off, simply press the volume up and power button both at the same time until you see the Mi logo and then it will enter into the custom recovery. Just in case guys, if you try to enter the recovery using the updater app, it will replace the TWRP recovery with the stock recovery. So there you have it, the TWRP recovery and this is the theme that we have applied. Just in case if you didn't copy the ui.zip file, this entire thing will be in a different language. So guys, we have flashed the custom recovery. Now we need to root the device. For that, simply select install and you should be in the internal storage. Simply scroll down and you have this file called as update super su, the file that we copied into the internal storage. Simply select that and swipe to flash the super user file. Now the device is rooted, simply reboot the system. Now once the phone boots, you will be able to find the super user app.
so there you have it guys the super user app so that's it guys in this way you can install a custom recovery and root your device but please make sure that you install the correct recovery so a rule of thumb if you are from india and your model number ends with 18 then you download the recovery for the model number that ends with double one not 811 so just in case if you have already installed the clockwork mod you can perform the same steps to install the twrp recovery and let me remind you once again please don't please don't use the update wrap for the first time when you are going into the recovery so that's it guys thanks for watching the video if you found this video to be helpful please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this